Hey, my name is Patrick, and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice in Mindful Test Prep, coming at you today with an ACT math question. This was question 35 from the math section of ACT 72E. Right there, pause it. Oh no. No, seriously, pause the video, take a crack at the question yourself, and then you can unpause it and watch the explanation. See how you did. Could be tight, because we're getting in there. It reads, Nichelle has 84 solid colored discs that are either red, blue, or green. She lines them up on the floor and finds that there are 24 more red discs than green and 15 more green discs than blue. How many red discs does she have? Well, so far all I've done is read the question and I have a headache and I'd like to take a nap. I don't know how I'm gonna write an equation for this. Seems kind of complicated. Whenever you have that feeling on the ACT where you've read a long word problem and you're not sure how you're going to write the equation, the chances are you're not going to. What do we know about every correct answer on this test? It's in front of us. So one of these has to work. Why don't we try them out? Now, which one should we start with? Probably the one in the middle. Because if we start with C, which is 25, and we find out that that number was too high, we know we need to go lower to A or B. And if it's too low, we know we need to go higher to D or E. So we start in the middle because that way, if it's not correct, our next guess will be educated. So what would it look like to try out these answer choices? Well, let's start with 25. If Nichelle had 25 red discs, what would we know? Well, she has 24 more red discs than green. So 25 is 24 more than one. So we would have one green disc. And she has 15 more green discs than blue. Oh, well, this doesn't work. One isn't 15 bigger than a number of discs that you could have. I suppose you could owe somebody discs and you could think of that as negative discs, but that's not really what's happening here. So 25 wasn't big enough. We cross it off and we can also cross off A and B. Okay, we have two answer choices left. We can move on to D. Let's look at 41. If Nichelle had 41 red discs, what would we know? Well, she has 24 more red discs than green. 41 is 24 more than what? Well, that's 41 minus 24. Don't be a hero. We live in an exciting time. If we use our handy dandy calculator is 17. So in this case, we have 41 red discs and 17 green. What else do we know? She has 15 more green discs than blue. All right, 17 is 15 bigger than what? Again, calculator's already out. 17 minus 15 equals two. So now we have 41 red, 17 green, and two blue. 41 plus 17 equals 58, plus two blue, well that would be 60, which is a fine number of discs to have, but it's not 84. So the answer must be E. And if you wanted to go through and do the math yourself, it's gonna work out, I promise. But we don't even have to. By selecting the answer choices and trying them out, we were able to sort of triangulate what we needed and eliminate the answer choices that didn't give that to us. If you have any questions about this problem or similar problems, hit me up in the comments below, or you can email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why not subscribe to our channel? In any case, my name is Patrick, and this has been Prep Mindful.